Brothers and sisters in Christ, grace, mercy, and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. This is Pastor Gary with the Orange City Campus with your Friday update as we prepare for another Sunday where we will be offering physical gathering at the Orange City Campus. We can uh, look forward to being together as much as possible, but I also want to give you the reminder that if you have symptoms of any kind of cough, any kind of runny nose, any kind of symptoms that look like uh, you aren't feeling 100%, then please do stay home. Uh, if you have any of those in your household, then please do stay home. But we also want to open our doors as much as possible uh, to anyone that would like to worship together. And so we welcome you to join us on Sunday at the Orange City Campus. We will also be streaming via YouTube. Uh, so don't forget that you can catch us on YouTube live at 10 o'clock with that option as well. So be prepared for uh, getting ready for that as well. I wanted to just take one minute here on Friday to walk through what you're going to see once again. Uh, we're going to use the same kind of format as Sunday. We're going to use the same kind of idea as far as taking your time, uh, taking the distance between people, uh, wearing masks, doing hand sanitizer, all that good stuff uh, to try to stay as healthy and as safe as we possibly can. So I'm out in the parking lot and just a quick reminder that we will have a couple of helpers, a couple of volunteers out here that are just trying to help control traffic a little bit. Uh, one of the major concerns is to not have a whole bunch of people gather right here in this front area. So be smart enough to look out of your car and to see are there a bunch of people here and to listen to the volunteers that are staged out here uh, to make sure that we don't have a, a pile up right here, uh, a whole bunch of people congregating in this one spot. As you come into the doors, one of the things that was mentioned was really utilizing this front area even better. And so what we're going to try to do is make sure that we are lining people up on these X's in the front entryway and making sure that you're staying the six feet apart, uh, but also watching for the next person to move forward so that you can move forward and do that very, very well. We will again have gloves, uh, hand sanitizer, masks available for you if you do not have those. Uh, we would love for you to wear those. Uh, we're not going to say absolutely required, but we're going to suggest them. Uh, even in the worship center, even as we worship together, it'd be great to have masks available uh, to have them being used. So keep that in mind as you prepare for Sunday. As you go through this hallway, remember uh, there's going to be a couple of greeters uh, suggesting to keep moving forward, uh, helping you move forward. Uh, as we stop at the restrooms here, just a quick reminder that if you do use the restrooms, we have the trash cans outside of the restroom so that you can use the paper towel to open up those doors uh, so that you can be sure to absolutely wash your hands really, really well. As you move through this this aisle uh, through this hallway we're gonna have those ushers right up front here uh, right up front of the worship center so that they can guide you to your seats a reminder to wait for them uh, to tell or to uh, let them know how many you have in your party in your family unit and then they will bring you to your specific seats so that you can have a uh, distance apart from people reminder again as you get into the worship center as you join us here uh, these seats are set apart as far as they need to be so please don't uh, move them into a better location or, or what you think might work better because they are set the appropriate distance apart and so we need to keep them where they're at uh, then of course as we go through worship as we uh, uh, hear the word of God uh, we're going to look at Acts chapter 2 so prepare your hearts by looking at Acts chapter 2 there's some early church kind of Pentecost stuff that we're going to focus on as we talk about Pentecost of course and then after the worship service uh, just stay in your seat I will remind you again uh, on Sunday but stay in your seat until the usher says it's your turn to go, until it's your turn to leave. Uh, that way we have a very safe and secure exit as well out of those doors. With all that being said, we keep seeking to follow Jesus by loving God and loving others as much as we possibly can during this time. Uh, we talked about it in the podcast today. This is a time when the world's tensions are high. And so I encourage you to be the ones that are a least anxious presence, uh, to be the ones that are calming the storm, uh, to be the ones that are pointing back to Jesus. Do that in every single way that you possibly can. Be the ones who talk nice to people. Be the ones who help people. And in all of that, grace and peace to you. And I can't wait to see you on Sunday.